guys welcome to legend lens and today we have a look at resistors you don't know so resistors connection now resistors can be connected in series also in power but then you can also have resistors which are neither in series nor in power but today we're going to have a look at series connection now two or more resistors are said to be in series when we have the same current flowing through them that sense in order for the current through them to be the same then there should be no junction or a form of node between them a node is simply any point in the circuit where current can either divide or add and then we simply represent it by a dot as we can see over here and so we can say that because there is no visible node between these two resistors which is R1 and R2 then we can say that R1 resistor R1 and R2 are in series and that the same current flows through them like this circuit because there is a junction or a node between this R1 and R2 then we can clearly say that this resistors R1 and R2 are not in series and how can we find the effective resistance of these two resistors that we have here now remember this can be two or more resistors now to best describe the resistance of a resistor then we cast our mind to the Ohm's law then this law is the most fundamental law that we use in circuit analysis it provides a simple formula for describing the voltage current relationship in a conducting material and that we know it to be the voltage or potential difference across a conducting material is directly proportional to the current flowing through that material and mathematically we have V to be proportional to I and then that you introduce a constant and that constant is what we call the resistance of that material which is R and because these resistors are in series then there is going to be a voltage drop across each of the resistors and so we have a voltage drop here and also a voltage drop there let's assume that this is the voltage drop v1 and that being v2 now total voltage now let's say vt becomes equal to v1 plus v2 as earlier said we said with series connection we have the same current flowing through each of the resistors we've already seen that v is equal to ri and so in place of that you can have irt being equal to ir1 plus ir2 so now this becomes rt being equal to r1 plus r2 so generally we find the total resistance of a number of resistors in series by merely adding the resistances together the individual resistances together and so we can have rt the total resistance to be equal to r1 plus r1 plus r2 plus rn this example here and then we have to find the effective resistance that is going to be produced by these three resistors that we have over there now all of these three resistors are in series since there is no node between them or some sort of a junction between them so what we do is merely adding the resistances together so we have one plus three plus five you get an answer of six ohm all right so that will be all for now subscribe to stay connected thank you